Whenever we talk about darkness of the neck, underarms or even forehead or in the groin, we always talk about a condition called acanthosis nigricans. So what is acanthosis nigricans? In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about acanthosis nigricans. What is it? What does it signify? Why, why does it occur? How can you improve it? What lifestyle changes you can make in order to reduce acanthosis nigricans? And also what medications that you can take to improve the condition. So let's get started. So what is acanthosis nigricans? It's a condition where you see thickened skin. The skin is dark, thick, velveteen texture, and you see it in the neck and underarms. In severe cases, you can see it in the groin, under the breast, and also sometimes in front of the elbows, behind the knees. Along with this, there can be prominent of lines on the palms and soles as well. It is a fairly common condition with a varied prevalence rate ranging from 7 to 70 percent depending upon ethnicity and gender. It is mostly seen in men. There can also be associated skin tags with it. Skin tags are the soft growth that you can see in the neck area. It can even occur around the eyes and the temple area and in the armpits. So these skin tags can occur along with acanthosis nigricans. I have a detailed video on skin tags. Please check it out. I have mentioned why it occurs and also how to treat it. So why does acanthosis nigricans occur? The main reason is insulin resistance. The receptors in the body are not able to utilize the insulin. This makes the body make a lot of insulin. So when there is increase in insulin and insulin-like growth factor in the body, this tends to stimulate the cells in the skin to make more cells. It causes proliferation of fibroblasts and keratinocytes. So this makes the skin appear thicker and they are thrown into folds and they appear darker as a result. So acanthosis nigricans is associated with metabolic syndrome. What is metabolic syndrome? It is a group of conditions which increases your risk of developing cardiovascular disease, stroke and other conditions. So if you have increased level of insulin along with hyperglycemia or increased blood glucose level with obesity, especially abdominal obesity, along with increased triglyceride levels, reduced HDL level and presence of hypertension, all this increases your risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. Though acanthosis nigricans can occur at any age, it is mostly seen in adulthood around the age of 40 years and is associated with other conditions such as obesity, acromegaly, polycystic ovarian disease, hypothyroidism and insulin resistant diabetes. So acanthosis nigricans doesn't just occur alone, it usually occurs with all these conditions. So when we look at acanthosis nigricans, we always look at it as a sign to try to investigate further or a sign to kind of change your lifestyle so that you can avoid developing these conditions in future. So acanthosis nigricans is like an indicator that you will develop diabetes in the future. So there have been many studies conducted and they have found a significantly high risk associated in people who have acanthosis nigricans to develop diabetes. Okay, so this should serve as an indicator to change your lifestyle and make changes in your routine in order to reduce the chances of developing diabetes or any kind of cardiovascular or diseases in future. So I want to talk briefly about metabolic syndrome. So like I said before, metabolic syndrome is just a group of condition which predisposes you to develop cardiovascular diseases. So this includes abdominal obesity, hypertension, hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia and hyperglycemia. So all this combined leads to development of cardiovascular diseases. So why does this occur? It occurs in people who have a high calorie intake, they have a sedentary lifestyle, they do not have a lot of physical activities and they take a diet which is very high in carbohydrate and fat. So you have to make certain changes in your lifestyle in order to reduce these parameters so that you reduce the chances of developing cardiovascular diseases in future. So what investigations do we do when we suspect acanthosis nigricans? We first check your blood sugar levels and your blood insulin levels. We calculate something called HOMA IR in order to know level of insulin resistance. Okay. So if you are suspecting acanthosis nigricans, I suggest you to consult your dermatologist or endocrinologist for detailed evaluation. So now we'll talk about treatment and how we can improve it. Don't look at the patch of acanthosis 
and agricans as something topical that is something that will go away with creams no don't try to scrub it don't use any kind of physical scrubs home remedies it will make things worse any kind of basin scrub baking soda is only going to make it worse don't try to scrub it off with loofah a lot of people feel that this occurs due to collection of dirt and if they just scrub it it'll get better but no it doesn't it will only get worse and raw and darker over time so don't scrub so what we need to do instead is use creams that increase the epidermal cell turnover that causes gentle exfoliation so that it improves but before that you need to make changes in your lifestyle which is the most important so what does this inculcate first is reduce the amount of fat and carbohydrate in your diet try to increase the amount of protein that you take try to inculcate exercise in your daily routine for at least 45 minutes every day 5 days in a week this can include cardio as well as weight training strength training this will help in building muscles it helps in then metabolizing glucose that you take in a better way so that there is no fat accumulation in your body as abdominal obesity increases the risk for cardiovascular diseases i have a video that i made several years ago on weight loss which i think still holds true today you know where i tell you very simple steps that you can take in order to control weight it is not easy it will take determination and a lot of hard work but i have mentioned some simple steps that you can follow that you can inculcate in your daily routine that will help you kick start the journey you can click on the i card to watch it so weight loss is the most important changing your diet trying to inculcate exercise into your routine avoid sugar avoid any kind of fried food fast food packaged food this is very very important whenever you are trying to lose weight you can even track your physical activity so that it motivates you to stick to the plan you can track how many steps you've taken how many kilometers you've walked in the day so that will help you in sticking to plan will motivate you to do it every day so you'll have to somehow try to change your daily routine and inculcate exercise and physical activity to make this better so now i'll tell you about certain creams that you can use so you can use creams with glycolic acid which is an alpha hydroxy acid which causes gentle exfoliation of our upper layers of the skin so it helps in reducing the thickness of the skin and reduces darkening and thickness that you see in acanthosis nigricans you can also use tretinoin cream i would suggest you to please consult your dermatologist before using any of these creams glycolic acid as well as the tretinoin i request you to consult a dermatologist before starting glycolic acid or tretinoin cream as these are prescription based medications that have to be used strictly under supervision especially in areas such as neck and underarms which are very prone to develop friction maceration it can really land up with irritation and more trouble okay so i would suggest you to do it only under supervision also there are certain oral medications that you can take which will help in reducing your appetite and also making the cells in your body more sensitive to insulin so these are called insulin sensitizers so there are medications that can help so this has to be taken of course under supervision with prescription and so i would suggest you to consult a dermatologist or endocrinologist if the acanthosis nigricans is troublesome you can start these medications which can really help you There are some in-clinic treatments that you can do in order to improve it. We can go for a few sessions of chemical peeling to help in hastening the process, and also go for a few lasers that can help in reducing the darkening and the thick component of the skin. But the most important part of treating acanthosis nigricans is change in your lifestyle and diet. Try to inculcate physical activity into your routine. Try to lose weight. Get your BMI below twenty-five, and also take high protein. in diet reduce sugar and carbohydrate intake and you will see a positive impact on the skin as well so acanthosis nigricans is treatable it can be made better but you need to focus on holistic approach on reducing weight and leading a healthy lifestyle in order to improve it so don't look at it just as dark neck dark underarms that you can just apply some cream and get rid of it that is not how it works when you correct all your underlying conditions that is when the acanthosis nigricans will also improve it will take time and it's not easy but if you have proper guidance then you will be able to achieve it